Welcome to this edition of Meet City Hall. I'm Kelly Hunter, your host, and joining me today on set is our HR director, Tia Alston. Welcome, Tia. Thank you, Kelly. It's good to have you on set. Thank you so much. A new face around City Hall. Now, while you've been around a little bit here, how long? It's been about, about seven months. About seven months. Yes. Um, still quite new to maybe our viewers. Okay. Wanted to take the opportunity for them to get to know you. Sure. Get to know the department and some of the services that the HR department offers, not just to the community, but to the employee base and why that's important okay. to the citizens. Sure, absolutely. All well, right. like you said, again, my name's Tia Austin. I'm the Director of Human Resources for the City of Douglasville. And we have a myriad of responsibilities in the HR department. Mm -hmm. Our main core competencies are recruitment and selection, okay. employee relations, retirement, and training and development. Wow, that's almost all ours in there. So, yes, almost. Yeah, almost. <laughs> so uh, on the front end then, let's start with that recruitment. Okay. Someone comes to the website, they're looking for a job, click on the um, city jobs, there's a listing, there's an application. From there, kind of where does it go? So our uh, HR department is responsible for receiving the applications and making sure the applications meet the minimum qualifications of our open positions and we okay. have a vetting process uh, from there we send those application applications and resumes to the appropriate director uh, for interviews um, we schedule those interviews as well the candidate comes in has an interview and from the candidate pool the director makes the decision on who they want to hire okay and um, it seems that there's some new faces around City Hall have we had some uh, quite a bit of uh, I don't want to say turnover, but a, a good a, a good uh, mm -hmm. population base of new employees coming. Yes, we do. Our, our turnover rate, um, just to piggyback off of what you said, is about 11% with the city of Douglasville. So it could be better. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now in the HR department, we do have a whole new team than the uh, previous calendar year. Okay. So with myself being the new director, we also have April Tolbert, who is our senior human resources specialist. Mm -hmm. And we just promoted Amy Adams to human resources coordinator last week. So we do have a fairly new team, but um, we're we're here and, and we work well together and we're here to serve the employees and the citizens. Well I know I've seen a difference uh, since you've been on board, kind of a stronger focus, a uh, more maybe intent focus mm -hmm. on uh, especially training and some yes. of those type things. So tell us those initiatives that you've launched here internally. So this year we are focusing more on health and wellness and training overall. So one of the new initiatives that um, I wanted to implement when I became director here is to make sure that employees are trained and that we focus on their health, wellness, and safety. So what we have done uh, last month is to roll out our first quarter calendar for training uh, events. Mm -hmm. um, and that includes, again, safety, uh, wellness, and employee training. So we try to schedule a, a minimum of six trainings per month um, for, for the first quarter of the year. And that gives employees an opportunity to build on their strengths and their uh, abilities and to gain um, more job knowledge for their positions as well as focusing on being safe, thinking safety minded, and mm -hmm. as far as um, being healthy, the healthiest that they can be while working here. All right, a healthy pl uh, employee, I think, is able to provide a better customer service Absolutely. to our citizen base. I do agree. Okay, so uh, in those health initiatives, um, can you give us an idea of some of those uh, topics that you're looking at? Yes, so for January, we implemented stress management training um, through our um, health care provider, Kaiser Permanente. Mm -hmm. We brought two stress management classes to the city and those classes were completely full. For the month of February, we have our Matters of the Heart um, event in conjunction with the American Heart Association where we will have a cardi cardiologist on site that will do a presentation to our employees um, and employees can learn more about how to be heart healthy. Mm -hmm. um, we've also had a um, web webinar series for um, employees and supervisors together and some for just supervisors by themselves um, that focuses on staff development and supervisory skills. So we have a lot going on right now um, that I feel will train up our employees and again so they can better serve our citizens as far as being safe. We have employees out there on the roads and, and just working um, outside of their departments. Um, our citizens are our priority and so is safety. So we want our citizens to know that we are training our employees um, so that they are thinking safe, uh, being safe, and as well as being healthy and just maintaining an overall training um, training umbrella for them to grow. Well, it's, it's uh, stirred quite a 
bit of excitement and a bit of chatter among us here at City Hall. Good, good. And uh, I know that was part of your intent. Yes, absolutely. Okay. We, we want to make sure that the employee gets the best working experience from the city of Douglasville. And, and that's uh, everything from the mind to the emotion to the physical. Yes. And like you said, on out into being a, a very conscious and aware of safety issues. Absolutely, as, yes. As well. Now, why is that important bottom line for the dollar? The well, city, the city of Douglas. safety is very important. Bottom line for the for the the city and employees. If mm -hmm. you know, we try to promote um, a safe workplace environment that cuts down on our um, claims, right. um, and then that we're able to um, use that money um, in the savings to be able to give back, um, put back into the city and its employees, um, and as well as other areas outside of the, of the city. If it's a cost savings overall to the city, it benefits both the employees and the citizens. And I know that, um, is it every May? Are you going to fall suit with that, with the employee health fair? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, we are. And that will be open to employees um, and their dependents um, that are covered. So we, we plan um, to make that a huge event this year. Okay. And it will be the end of May, yes. And I know uh, in the past stories, there's been people who have been borderline diabetic, borderline high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and they had the opportunity to have that, if you would, discovered at that health fair. So Absolutely. it's very beneficial. It is, it's very important to attend the health fair because like you said, um, there are things that go undetected um, from the time um, you know, they are diagnosed, if they haven't seen their primary care physician in a while, um, and they come to the health fair, they may um, discover some things there. And it's just important so that people can know their numbers and know where they stand health-wise in order to plan better for their future. And you just launched the first of the year, the citywide Big Loser Contest. Yes, we did, the Biggest Loser. Uh, we're excited about the Biggest Loser Contest. We have about 50 people signed up, and uh, that includes employees and their dependents um, that they're, they're, they want to challenge themselves and to see mm -hmm. how healthy they can be and make it friendly and competitive amongst other people. So it's a good thing. Um, the momentum is high right now. We will do it again um, at the, um, in the middle of the year, but right now, We've all weighed in, and the way out is in March, so we're, we'll, we're very excited about this challenge. All right, and I'm sure the results will be tremendous and probably just help spur that next uh, one in the summer, and maybe I'll join in on that one. Okay, that'll be uh, good. Come join us. And, uh, <laughs> get it circulating again for another big, biggest sure, loser. Sure, absolutely. Uh, right. Be on the lookout for that. We will continue to do these health initiatives and continue to bring the best services to the employees. All right. Well, Tia, thank you for being our guest on Meet City Hall. It sounds like HR is doing a wonderful job. Not only does it sound like I can uh, vouch from my own personal experience that HR is really making a difference in the lives of the city employees and uh, all at your command. Well, thank you for having me. All righty. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Meet City Hall.